So this week on our nursery walk, I wanna show you guys how we grow some of our emergent plants. And that's a, a pretty unique system. So we grow them in, uh, this is basically a wet frame. And um, it's basically in, have the same way you'd build an above ground pool, uh, except we're using two by sixes and, and it's not too fancy. But really it's a, a two frame of two by sixes. We fill the bottom with sand and level it out. And then, uh, then we line it with uh, just regular old greenhouse plastic. And you basically create a little pond. And um, now some of the issues you have to deal with is this water does get stagnant, it'll get too hot. So we have little uh, pond fillers over here. So just same PVC irrigation pipe, and this is how we'll fill those up and change the, the water. And uh, we're able to grow a lot of really cool species. Like this one here is Arrow Arum. Uh, or Peltandra virginica, and uh, really great species. Uh, the ducks love the seed, especially wood ducks love the seed of this plant. It grows in about six inches of water right along that pond edge on the bank. So if you have like a, a, a pond edge right where the water is gonna meet the, the land, that's a place where this plant's gonna thrive up until about six inches deep. So especially if you have a nice little flat shelf going in the water, that's a great place to put it. Um, really nice plant just looks like it's supposed to be aquatic so really good one and uh, we have a whole bunch of different stuff we grow this way so let's move along another cool species we grow in wet frames is white water lily so white water lily is probably pretty common to what most of you, when you look at a pond and you see those lily pads out there some of those are white water lily and it's a native species uh, grows all along the, the mid-Atlantic um, and we grow it the exact same way as we grow a lot of our other aquatic species in uh, I'll pull one of these up here so we we're growing it in our regular two inch plug trays just like that and but we're growing it in a little bit of water now these are only in a couple inches of water maybe they're an inch or two under the surface uh, where the, the plants are but really it only takes a couple of days Here's a picture of the plant with the roots on it. But really, you could put this in uh, up to six feet of water, but if say you put it in a pond and it was two or three feet deep, it only takes a short amount of time for those lily pads to reach the surface. It does not take long at all. These are really awesome plants if you have a, a shallow pond and you want some coverage. So, stuff like this is great for fish habitat. Um, it can get a little thick, but one of the things that makes it so great for fish and, and other wildlife is it keeps the water temperature cool. You don't have the sun beating down, going through the water and then warming that water because the plants are soaking up that sunlight and uh, shading the water beneath it and keeping it cool. So really beneficial native aquatic plant. So when you think of pollinator plants and plants that support wildlife, you're usually not thinking of a lot of your emergent plants, but they can be really great at that as well. Uh, just like this plant here, this is a plant called Sagittaria latifolia. And you can see some of the blooms there, but uh, just a little bit ago, before the wind picked up, there was tons of bees on these flowers. They were just going nuts. And then as I looked a little bit closer, I noticed that you have things like this little guy, a green tree frog on it. And uh, there's another one over here. There are tons of these little frogs all over just clinging to this plant. Really, really unique. But this plant supports a lot of wildlife in the, the uh, landscape as well because it'll grow in wetlands uh, it can take up to six feet or excuse me six inches of, uh, of inundation so that means it can be six inches in the water and still grow fine uh, and that's actually its preferred place we actually grow it a little bit of PVC down here that we're growing it in a couple inches of water because it can take those conditions uh, another really big de benefit and why it's called duck potato is ducks love this plant and the roots of this plant actually form a tuber um, you can kind of see starting to form right here and ducks especially your diving ducks are going to dive down and they're going to gobble up those tubers they really really love them so really unique plant even the seed heads are pretty cool on this one <laughs> 